Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Kanika Tandon and I'm here with the video of class 7th English first. Today we are going to uh, revise chapter number 27 which is letter writing. Since this chapter has already come in your first term uh, but uh, in annual examination you have to cover the whole book the syllabus uh, the syllabus consists of the consists of revision of first term also so i'm going to revise this chapter so that you actually uh, revise how do you write a letter before starting the videos i'm hoping that you already know what a letter is so letter is actually a way through which we used to communicate in the times when there were no mobile phones or telephones we don't actually like write letters um, to our family and friends these days because we have phones but yes we do write applications to higher authorities and different uh, for for complaints for requests and for many other things so you should know what how to write a letter if even if it is uh, informal one or a formal one so before starting today's video let me first take a quick revision that letters are of two types first is informal and second one is formal so informal letters are those letters which we write to our family friends and relatives right so whenever we are writing informal letter we can actually uh, write whatever we want to we just don't have to be very particular or we don't have to be very professional with them it is not necessary that we use very proper words and we have to be very careful what we are talking like we can talk we can share our personal things also or we can share our uh, professional things also all right but when when it comes to formal letter we have to be make sure that we don't write unnecessary things we sh we write point to point whatever we want to and no rubbish is allowed to be written in the formal letters so first i'm going to tell you how you write informal letters i mean the format of informal letter Okay, when we are writing informal letter, there is not much difference between informal letter and formal letter. But one thing that you have to make sure, I'm going to tell that, and when when I'll be telling you the format of writing, inform uh, format of writing formal letter. So when we are writing informal letters, first we write we write the address of ours. All right next is the date next is greetings to whom whomsoever we are writing the letter then sorry 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 the greetings means like dear mother dear father or anything then we write body of the letter we just have to write the matter whatever we want to and the last one is the salutation salutation is your loving daughter and your name your loving f uh, f uh, brother your name S things like these okay this is how we write an informal letter when we come on to the formal letter let me tell you how formal letter is different from informal one Whenever we are writing formal letter, first we write the sender's address, which is we only. Okay. Then we are going to write date. Alright. Then we are going to write receiver's address. Okay. Then we are going to write the subject. This is the main thing because this is the only thing that is different from whatever we are writing in the formal letter. Subjects we are going subject is written by because we are writing the formal let, formal letters to people that that has higher author that have higher authority than us. Okay, so we have to make sure that uh, we have to write the subject why because 
we have to tell them that okay sir this is the reason why we are writing the letter and you have to read it okay and it will be short like if you want to write a letter about uh, uh, you have to you have to ask for a leave uh, from the school you have you have to write the subject application for leave okay then after subject comes salutation sorry sorry not salutation it's greetings like dear um dear um to the management or something like this okay then and the uh, then the body of the letter whatever you have to write you can write and then at the last your name which comes as salutation right this is a formal letter not the application that you write to your principal okay that is actually different okay so this is the main thing that we have to study in the whole chapter you can read it by yourself and then understand it better and you have to learn the format because if your format is wrong you will not be able to write it write the um answers properly i mean the if your format is wrong you can you will not be able to write the letter properly and then your marks will be deducted and one thing that you you can practice the letters by reading the uh, by reading first of all by reading the um, format in the book and the examples also you can practice practice the letters from the exercise part i'm going to end the video here and next in the next video we are going to take a revision of some other chapter till then take care keep studying and thank you